In this video, we are mixing every deer scent into one scent. We are then testing it to see if the deer react to it. We started at my local sporting goods store, Dunham's, and then moved to Walmart, and then to Tractor Supply. Here's the section at Tractor Supply. They don't have much that we don't already have. We've already got Code Red. We've already got Golden Estrus. We don't have Trails End. We've already got Tinks. We don't have Black Widow. Also, something I'm doing is I'm only doing liquids that I can put on a rope. I'm not doing the wafers. I know they make some of those. I'm not doing it. I'm just doing the liquids. At Tractor Supply, they only had two that we didn't have. So let's go check out and go to Amazon. $21.98. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I went to Amazon and bought some scents that I didn't already have. And here's some reviews off of Code Red. Mike Nugent says, wow, I used to have no luck with the laddies but this product changed all that. I put some code red around my neck area, then head to the local pub. Results as soon as you walk in the door. Can't keep the girls off me now. Thanks, code red. Mike, I, I don't think that's how you use that. I have a lot of questions for Mike. Mike, please seek help. Mike, do you know? Jonathan Ortega says, I hate to be so negative, but I tried this stuff a couple times and the deer never came to investigate. I didn't know the deer were investigators. Wow. I think you're hunting wrong. And then from the scent code blue, there's no name on this review. It just says from the United States. So United States says it literally has nothing in the bottle. What am I supposed to do with this? Well, United States, where, where's that scent at? And then William Eddy II said this bottle of doe estrus was obviously sitting on the shelf for a couple years and not from this year as there were chunks floating inside the bottle. What kind of chunks? William, I need more information. What was inside the deer pee? Did you talk to the United States? Amazon's here. So do you think that by mixing all the deer scents, this is gonna create one power scent? It's, it's okay. All right, I, I didn't mix it. You just go back to your truck. He didn't know what I was talking about. I'm just kidding, guys. It's David. All right, man. We're gonna mix all of the deer scents we have into one power scent to see if we can attract the biggest buck in Oklahoma. I don't know, I, if I was a buck and I smelled all the scents, I'm coming to this place right here. I think it'd probably smell like booty and I wouldn't want to <laughs> see it. Smells like booty. I wouldn't want to be there. All right, well, that's David's answer. Let's get to it, man. Okay, so I have my syringe. We're going to use five mils from each bottle. And since I don't have an empty bottle yet, we're gonna use this water bottle cup and put it into here and then soak the end of the rope in that. Let this science experiment begin. All right, we have trails end. Oh, it's dripping on my counter. I'm so sorry, Nicole. We have deer pee on our counter. She will not ever know about this. All right, there's five mils. I'm so sorry, honey. You won't know until this video comes out. Or you'll know when you walk in the door later because it's gonna smell like deer pee. All right, I have code red. So what I'm gonna have to do with this is I have to dump it into this cup because the opening is not small enough for me to get into. And Mike Nugent, if you're watching, this is how you use it. Special golden estrus. Pure white tail estrus. I can tell you right now, my kitchen is very potent. I'm surprised we don't have a buck already. Doe and estrus. Tinks peak 30. Tinks 69. Black Widow. Oh, it's overflowing. It just overflowed on the kitchen again. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Whoa. man. That one's strong. Last one, cold blue. As I opened up code blue, there were no chunks floating in it and it was full of liquid. Those reviews are busted. It smells like cleaning supplies, kinda. Here's the potent liquid that's going to attract the monster buck in Oklahoma. The 82 pointer buck is coming to our house. Let's see actually how good this tastes. Not too bad. Oh, actually, it already attracted our first buck. You can see him right there. Here he comes. His name's Cody McMillan. He's not the biggest buck I've ever seen, but he's there. All right, guys, I'm walking down here. I have an idea of what might happen. I don't know. I, I think that the overwhelming scent is actually going to deter the bucks, but we'll see. I'm not sure. All right, here's the rope. We're gonna place it right here. A cricket just jumped in here. Oh man, poor guy. All right, that's that. Here's this. It's dripping, got it nice and soaked. Dripping on the ground, that's what we want. Get in the soil. All right, now we wait on that. 
we're gonna go get the other trail camera just so we can set up another location so we have complete coverage of the entire area because if a buck comes in, I want to be able to see it from all areas because at this point it's going to be coming in because of the scents, uh, not because of the food that I have out. All right, we're going to let that set for a few days and then we're going to take the most popular scents and we're going to try them out individually on ropes in a different location day by day. And so we're going to see what this does for a few days. It might not do anything. It might be a bust. I don't know, but it's fun combining everything into one scent. We could have a monster buck or we could have nothing. Yoink. Guys, I was driving and somehow this popped off and I don't have my camera anymore. So yeah, good times. All right, I turned this one a little more that way. Let's wave it and see what my phone image gets. This one, surprisingly, it's still showing image. So until I get another one, we're just gonna kind of stick it in the ground. I just set it right there. Let's see if it catches anything. I guess I'm going back out to tractor supply. That reeks of deer pee. And my wife's about five minutes from home. Should have thought beforehand. She's not gonna notice. Hello, baby. Did you poop? Is it deer urine? You smell deer urine? I smell, it smells like you. It smells like a little hard in here. Like you went to the bathroom and did his flush. I think it probably smell like booty. It doesn't smell that bad. Well, after I slept on the couch that night, I checked my trail camera and I had a spike. And after the spike came in, we had some does around 11.52 p.m. And then at 11.43, the camera captured the whole herd of does and I had no more bucks that night. All right, guys, I went to track supply, got a trail camera and got it set up. All right, here's the rope. There's the camera. So we're not gonna miss a thing. And it shoots off this direction. All right, we got two cameras set up. If a buck comes in, we're not gonna miss him. Let's head into night two. Let's go chase those squirrels, come on. You see the squirrel? Whoa, if we go in circles, it'll make us catch the squirrel. All right, now let's head into night two. Well, we started off the night strong at 6.02 p.m. with a doe that came to get some food. And then at 6.38 p.m., her friend came in, got some food as well, and that was it for those two nights. We did not have any bucks. All right, so mixing every deer scent into one scent was a bust. But now I wanna see which deer scent is actually the favorite among the bucks. So we're gonna try that in our second location and see which one comes out the favorite. I got the rope hanging right here. We actually Put it right next to the entrance of where the deer enter. All right, we got code blue. I'm gonna put it in this water bottle. So we're gonna dip this into this and get it soaking. All right, it is definitely all soaked on there. It's not as soaked as our other one was. We'll see what happens. Got our mock scrape, got our rope. Let's see. All right, I forgot one thing, but first, my new hats came in the mail. So I just put our camera back because obviously we gotta have a camera. I wanna have another camera placed over here somewhere so we can see the rope over there. So let's go get that from our other location. Yoink, you're going in another location. You're being adopted into another location, buddy. You're not wanted in the field anymore. You're heading into the woods. All right, so I ended up placing it right here next to her tree there. That's where it was before. So we're gonna have it pointed straight to the rope. I have more hope for this location than I do the other one. Also, we have a massive cold front coming in. This scent's gonna be out for the next two nights. And then we're gonna switch to another scent and see how that one does. Let's head into the night. And then at 8, 12 p.m. we had a spike crossing through the woods, which he was probably ran off by this guy at 8, 19 p.m. This guy's a nice eight point. He's hanging around the rope, smelling the scent, seeing where that doe is. And then later that night at 2.49 a.m., check out this guy. That is probably the widest rack I've seen on my property so far. And then on 11.15 at 10.18 p.m., we had a deer come in and he looked like he was injured. Okay, we have two nights with code blue. Now let's go switch the scent up and we've got code red. You ready, Oliver? Ah. And then I'm just gonna drip remaining on that. 
Okay, let's head into the first night with Code Red and see how that performs versus Code Blue. So we started off the night at 6.35 p.m. with two does, and then the next night we had this spike come in, and he decided to check out the camera. He looks like he's missing one antler. And some of you guys out there, you know it. You would shoot this guy. All right, so Code Red did not perform that great, and it's not really ever performed great for me, so I didn't expect much of it. Right here I've got Tink's Peak 30. We're gonna set up the rope and see what we get in two days. This rope is, our, is soaked from the downpour of rain that we got. Man, I just soaked that right up. From the flood we got, my ground hunting spot is a little flooded. Let's see what it looks like inside the blind. Oh, no, that's a, uh, that is full of water. There's no way. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is literally just like an inch of water sitting inside of here. So today's Tuesday and Thursday and Friday, I have the mornings off and I was wanting to come hunt and I wanted to hunt from there. I might have to move the blind because I did not realize it was in a flood zone. Hey, but on the bright side, whenever the deer are thirsty, they come over there and get, they get a drink of water. I'm right there. I'm ready to shoot them, but I'm knee deep in mud. What to do, what to do. In the meantime, me and a couple boys went duck hunting and uh, here's a few clips of that. David shot our first duck, first duck of the day. Cool. So David and uh, Connor are dancing out in the water. Okay, scaring away all the birds. Ooh. What are you guys doing? We're trying to get me on. <laughs> no, don't push, don't push. <laughs> Dude, guys, you. you're scaring away the ducks. Shut up, you're the one that fell first. <laughs> don't drag me in with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Come on, come on. Wait, hold on. Oh, I no. <laughs> <laughs> Connor uh, survived. <laughs> We're here. Now, there's gonna be a video later of the full thing, but I had to share a few clips of that because uh, it was comical. So, let's head into the night and see how Tinks perform and determine a winner. And then starting off on the last scent with Tinks at 6.40 a.m. on 11.20, we had some deer wandering through the woods, checking things out. They didn't come out though, but I could make out that it was a buck. And then on 11.21 at 12.01 a.m., this buck that we've already had on our property came back, checking out the new scent to see what's happening. Okay, Code Blue clearly won that competition uh, between the different scents. It performed the best. We had the most bucks on camera with Code Blue, and then second place was Tinks, and then the worst was Code Red, uh, just like the reviews that we read off of Amazon. Uh, it did not do good. So my recommendation based off of what we've done in this video is to go with Code Blue or nothing. Then it, then again, also guys, using the same rope as before could have had an effect on it. I'm sure it did. I just didn't want to buy four ropes because they're expensive. That's it for this video, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Please help me and subscribe if you haven't already. I've got to go prepare for a quail hunt. Have a great week.